Okay folks, so we're going to continue on from the last video that I made on Isla Sauna. That was an introduction to the island and just getting ourselves set up, ready to go, so that we can really kick off with the missions starting from today. And the first mission, as you can see here, is the entertainment mission. At least it's the first mission I'm going to do. And it's simply called A Jurassic World. And the first task here is to incubate five of these dinosaurs that it wants us to do. Okay. Now, just to go over one thing that I didn't really mention at the end of the last episode, but I should have done really. Before you start this mission, make sure you have ample emergency shelter and storm protection, because one of the objectives that's going to be coming up will require us to survive quite a nasty storm without having guests die. So just check your management view here, make sure your storm protection is obviously adequate there, and the same is true for emergency shelters. You want to make sure all of your buildings are in blue, Otherwise, you're going to have to put other shelters down to make sure that you have full coverage. So I'm just going to go ahead and cure this disease here, and then we'll start off with the first objective of today's mission. First things first then, the two dinosaurs we're going to start with are the Stegosaurus and the Triceratops. Now, we already set up this pen or this enclosure in the previous episode, the previous video, and it's very important that you have a pen near the entrance here that includes the Stegosaurus that, you know, spawn randomly on the island. Well, not randomly, but they spawn outside of enclosures when you first start the level. And the reason for that is because Stegosaurus have a social requirement of five, which is quite high, actually, and also a fairly high population requirement. So if you're not going to make use of the dinosaurs that already spawn when you start this place, you're going to be incubating a lot more than you otherwise would need to do. So what we're going to do is just start these. So we can see we need a Triceratops with a rating of 50, which isn't too bad. But before we do anything else, I'll just check that we've set up the Creation Lab with success rates. Yes, we have. Very important, of course, whenever we are going to be fiddling with the genomes here. So Triceratops, where are you? Uh, probably gone past you. Have I? Is it? Oh, no, we've got like a nice alphabetical order. So rating of 63, that'll do fine. We'll just go ahead and do this one. And then also in this enclosure, we're going to go for the Stegosaurus, and it needs a rating of 80. Uh, so it should be, there it is. And the current rating is 51, so we're going to need to boost that up a little bit. And, ah, oh, Rainforest, I've not seen this one before. Let's go for that. So I think that's one of the recent ones that I've unlocked, actually. Uh, we could go for increased bone density. And we just need to boost it up by another 10. Our viability has come down a little bit, which obviously we need to be cautious of here. Uh, immune response or hyperficient blood. And that will get us to the magic number that we want of 80. And because I've uh, got success rates on this, we've actually got a plus 40% of viability, giving it 98% instead of 58%. So that shouldn't be a big problem at all to hatch. And now we're going to head over to our other enclosures, which we set up at the end of the last episode. We've got our big enclosure here, and this is going to be housing our Brachiosaur, along with uh, one of our carnivores as well. Probably, I was going to go for T-Rex, but I think the Spinosaurus is going to be the better option. And then over here we're going to house one of the other carnivores as well. So, that should be the plan. Uh, we're going to start by hatching out or incubating a T-Rex. It requires... A rating of 340, which is obviously very high. So we'll check I've got success rates over here up as well. And let's see if we can get this T-Rex to 340 without too much of an issue. Uh, what are we on at the moment? 277. Oh, no. Oh, screwed that up. One of the big problems, that's why you should always save, is that you can't cancel an incubation. Uh, meaning I'm going to have to either have two T-Rex, which isn't really going to be possible, unfortunately. I'm going to have to wait for this and then trank it and sell it uh, or I could just reload but I didn't save so we're gonna have to wait while we're waiting for that then we'll just re-sort out the Tyrannosaurus Rex genome so we can get this over the 340 which is the magic number that we want so it doesn't really matter what kind of skin we go for I think we'll go for the coastal pattern I've not really used that a lot that was another recent unlock it's got to be said uh, 331, 339, 344 intensive repair will actually do the trick for us and the good news is, is the viability is still quite high as well. So we'll just go ahead and leave it at that. And we'll incubate uh, this lady here. And we'll just wait for this before we do anything else. 
Right, so I've just got that first T-Rex being sold off now. Oh, what a cock up that was, but at least we've got it sorted. So the second T-Rex, which is the one we need for the mission, is just about ready to go, I think. So let's just go ahead and release it. And what I've done is just made sure there's an opening in the fence so that it can head into the correct enclosure here. That way we just get away with using one Hammond Incubation Lab for this mission. Well, one for this set of two enclosures anyway. Fantastic stuff. So that should tick off that on the list. Yep, there we go. And we're going to set up the Spinosaurus and the Brachiosaurus now. So Spinosaurus needs a rating of 350. Hence the reason I told you to make sure you've collected enough fossils because you're going to need quite a high viability for this one. Uh, so Spinosaurus, where are you? Not seeing you at the moment. Dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I've got the genomes for 100%. And two, what was the, I forgot what it was now. <laughs> 350, okay. So we need to just sort this out, this genome. I'll show you what I do. You can copy me if you like. Doesn't really matter. Let's go for wetland, shall we? 280. Got to get to 350. Uh, let's go for this one, shall we? Hyper efficient blood. 365 with skin toughness. Yeah, that'll do nicely. I'm not going to worry too much about. Uh, anything else the reason for that is we're probably going to be selling this one once the mission's complete anyway since it's just going to be causing too much havoc around our enclosure so we'll go ahead and start incubating this dinosaur and then we'll look at the next one which is also going to be going in the same pen it's a brachiosaurus we need a rating of 135 so fortunately you don't need to keep these dinosaurs around for too long which is why i'm just happy to stick them all in the same pen here uh, because once the mission's complete we can get rid of them what was it? 135, wasn't it? So we should just be okay to go ahead with this. Let me just check. I got that right. Yeah, 135. I'm just going to reduce some of the costs here. Since I haven't got a huge amount of money to work with, unfortunately. So what is it that I've got in my genome here? Yeah, we can afford to just bring some of these back up to null gene. Save some Dosharuni. 178. Yes, so brought the incubation cost down to under a mil now. And yet the rating is still perfectly sufficient. So we'll go ahead and hatch that as well. Now what I'm going to do, ready to release these guys, is just go ahead here. And if we head up to the fences, rebuild this fence here. And then make an opening for our other dinosaurs that we're just building. So they can hatch and move out into the correct pen. And I've kept this big one here for the Brachiosaurus because they require a lot of space. I might have to delete some trees, depending on how much grassland that uh, it's going to require. But the T-Rex should be happy enough over here right now. Yep, and you can see which dinosaurs you've hatched for the mission, of course, by the little icon there. I'm not sure why it's got a security mission icon. It should have an entertainment one, for sure. Uh, but that's fine. We know that's one of the uh, mission dinosaurs there. And we're just going to head back over to this pen and release the other two herbivores that we incubated a few moments ago as well in particular the triceratops and the stegosaurus and that should tick those off the list and their needs should be okay as well i'm just going to decline security for now because i want to try and build reputation up with the uh, science division ready for the next mission so i'm already thinking ahead to that you see in fact let's go ahead and accept a contract the sooner we can build our rep up the sooner we can start doing those missions a successfully incubated dinosaur. Well, that's going to be helpful. Okay, Triceratops is done there. I know you're incubating new dinosaurs, but be responsible. And Stegosaurus should also be okay. Right, so Triceratops is going to be happy enough being the only Triceratops, which is why I haven't rushed to do two of those. We can see the comfort level is not dropping there. And the Stegosaurus will also... So I've got this right, which looks like I have. Oh, I've got another trophy. Oh, that's for the Stegosaurus. First time I've actually incubated one, despite having plenty in the park. Yet, Stegosaurus comfort level will be happy as well. So that's a nice little trick for you there, guys, to use the ones that you already get free roaming when you start this place. So just make this first mission a little bit easier. And now we're just going to go ahead and wait for these other two dinos. And I'm going to release the Spino first. 
He's probably going to go and attack some of these other Stegosaurus, which is fine. I don't need them at the moment anyway. Uh, we are going to be selling dinosaurs a lot over these three missions, guys. And then when we're going to five-star the island, we'll plan it all out properly at that point then. So that's why I recommend getting the missions done first, because they're just going to mess everything up when trying to five-star this place. So at least they're out of the way then, and you should have all your unlocks completed. Okay, 57.44, go ahead and skip ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just spent the last 40 minutes or so trying to get myself out of a sticky situation. And what a nightmare it was. So shortly after I paused the video there, while we was waiting for incubations, a storm decided to hit. At the same time, literally five seconds later, a sabotage occurred and my Stegosaurus started dying of old age. And this is just basically causing just a huge amount of issues. And as you can see, it's still not even over right now. Come on, please, will you sort your comfort out? Okay, should stop attacking the fence momentarily, I hope. And hopefully I'll have things back under control. Unfortunately, I now have no Stegosaurus in the pen where my T-Rex is. I think we're going to have to go ahead and actually Ignite. trank this one. It's just been a horrible situation, but I think I'm just about getting on top of things. Oh, I can't even be bothered to close the emergency shelters. My park rating's taken a big hit, but that isn't a big problem because I'm not really paying attention to that right now anyway. That'll be coming later on. Okay, stop attacking it now. It's leaving the fence alone. Uh, is it too late to stop that? I think we've stopped. Oh, no. Typical. Typical. I think it will wake up after a while, but the quickest thing to do is just to move it. Otherwise, it could take ages. Right, I think we're sorted. I think we're sorted. That little red icon there is just because I haven't finished my monorail. Dead dinosaur! It's just one thing after another, I tell you. And trust me, we've got another storm coming in a moment as well. Asset to be collected. Right, that's just one of the loose stegosaurus. I don't care about that. Right, I think we're okay now. So, all I've got over here is one T-Rex, who's actually, she's been quite a good girl. So... I'm very happy about that. Could have been a lot more complicated had she not. Let's go ahead and release Spinosaurus here. If we can at least get this first quest done, this first objective, then obviously things will be a little bit more manageable after that then. Right, feeder needs supply. That'll be my veggie feeders. No, no. Oh, it's just one of these stupid ones. I best do it. Otherwise the loose dinosaurs will start coming all over the place. Right then, so, what have we got now? Okay, there's the trophy for unleashing the Spinosaurus. I'm going to let this guy out for a bit. And then, uh, hopefully, we'll be able to release the Brachiosaurus as well. Try and keep some distance between them. For what I think are fairly obvious reasons. Oh, I love the attention to details in this game. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, so while that's running off, we're going to go ahead and release our other dino here. Our final, yeah, final dino for the first objective. Just decapitate yourself on the gate. As long as I don't fail, that is fine. Another dead dinosaur. It's these stegos that start with you when you first start the island. They all die of old age, and it's really annoying. As long as it's not these guys. Okay, just another one over here. That's fine. The only thing is, as these guys start to die, you will have to trank the others, okay? Because they're going to start losing their comfort zone. And as they lose their comfort, they're going to go ahead and start charging all over the place. In fact, comfort is now going down, so I am going to go ahead and start tranking some of these before they start interrupting with the guests. Oh, you haven't heard? Yeah, they're all coming over, look now. So we need to make sure we trank them all so and just sell them off. Right, we'll leave those to be, to be tranked animal. and we'll see how things are going on over sure here. Okay, so the first objective is complete. Badly, very badly because of the weather. And there's actually nothing to require us to keep these dinosaurs alive as far as I'm aware. Uh, you go away. So we can actually go ahead and trank and get rid of, say, for example, the Spinosaurus here. 
Uh, so he doesn't attack our Brachiosaur. Or we can try and leave them be. Right, the problem with the Brachiosaur is it has such a requirement to try and satisfy here. The only thing is, uh, helicopter's a little bit busy at the moment, tranking those other guys. So I think I'll pause the video, wait for the timer to fill up here. I'll just keep an eye on things. We're going to have a fight. Yeah, it looks like Brachio here is going to be uh, eaten. Where's Spino going? Oh, Spino's leaving him alone. That's interesting. Spino has not attacked Brachiosaurus. Not yet, anyway. Could do with just a few more trees around keep this guy happy, I think. And that should boost his forest rating up a little bit. He's got plenty of grassland, which is one of the other requirements. Another dead dinosaur. Where is this dino now? Must be over here again. Yep. So we'll get rid of you. Sell you. So much to do all at once in this game, isn't there? So much to do. And sell you. Right, so that's all the Stegos taken care of, I believe, anyway. What's going on over here? Right, I'm surprised, but Spino seems to, he says, leaving Brachio alone. Is he going to fight? Well, they're actually getting on, just about. Yeah, they can live harmoniously. I never knew that. There you go then, guys. Little tip for you. Spino and Brachio can actually be housed in the same pen. Just make sure you've got uh, both carnivorous and herbivore feeders in place. As a matter of fact, I need to put a tall one in here, don't I? So we'll get rid of this little one because Brachio will not be able to eat from that. Asset has been collected. And we'll go to enclosures here. And build a tall herbivore feeder. Let's put two in because it's quite a big open space. And now we need to save ready for the storm. Now as the time is about to start to fill up here, what I'm going to do is go ahead and close all my shelters immediately. It's very important as well, of course, you save your game before this. Because the next objective is going to require that hardly any guests die. So you will have to just pay attention to that. By the way, there's one thing you can try and do here. I've not done this myself. So I'm not totally sure how this would play out. Uh, but you can actually try closing your park. Okay, and if you do that, they'll actually get rid of guests so they don't actually die. But we're going to have to survive this storm here. And this is where things get a bit annoying for this particular mission. So hopefully the guests here are going to get to safety. Because we're bound to be having dinosaurs all over the place in a few moments time. And the storm hasn't yet approached. But, oh, here it comes. So you will be getting a tornado as well. And it will like to wreck things, as the tornadoes in this game tend to do. I'm just going to start up a new science mission here. I've not done a very good job at building up my rep with them at the moment. Uh, reach 600,000 income per minute. We'll try that. Yes. Right, where's the tornado coming in from? Just so we can start focusing on that area. Basically, coming where my uh, meat-eating dinosaurs are, isn't it? That would be typical, that would. Mm, not seen it yet, actually. It will be coming, though. I can guarantee that. Hopefully, everybody's just about got to safety. I think I should stick another shelter down here. I thought I had one. I'm not sure why I haven't. Where the heck is the emergency shelter around this place? Right, hurry up and construct, please. Where is the tornado? Maybe I'm lucky. Maybe it's coming to an area where there's nothing actually built. Ah, there it is. Hey, no such luck. Right into my Spinosaurus enclosure, of course. 
we'll try and repair this thing. We can actually go ahead, perhaps, and... Uh, we're going to Spinosaurus and T-Rex. We're going to go ahead and knock those guys out, otherwise they're going to be fighting, which is something I would really like to avoid. I probably should have done that even a few moments ago. In fact, a little tip for you guys. Your Spinosaurus and T-Rex, knock them out before the tornado actually comes. Since now it's probably going to be too late for me, and they're probably going to end up fighting. So we'll set that up as a repair as well. So far the dinosaurs haven't escaped. Hey, here he comes. Coming to investigate what's going on over here. Hey, here comes Spino as well. This is where it all goes wrong. Where the heck is that helicopter? It's miles away. Yeah, of course it is. Oh dear. Hmm, where's the T-Rex gone? All I'm planning on doing is knocking these guys out. Why is it a comfort gone so low? I guess it's just because of the storm, isn't it? Right, it shouldn't take too long to knock these out because I've put a load of upgrades on the ACU. There we go, look. Let's repair all of this stuff, please. Right, the storm's actually gone now, so I think we might be having a chance of surviving this. Right, the T-Rex is out now as well. Fantastic, we've actually survived. I did not expect that at all. We'll move him a little bit further into the pen if we can. Just gives the rangers time to repair everything here. In the meantime, we need to get our park back online and fully operational. And we'll just move the Spinosaurus over here. So we've got the fences to repair. But that's occurring now. He's so sinister, that fellow, isn't he? So sinister. Right, and we didn't actually get any damage over here, mainly because of the fact that the tornado didn't hit. So now we need to achieve a total guest count of at least 3,500. So we're going to have to start building shelters, not shelters, like hotels and stuff, shortly. What the heck is the car doing? It should be repairing all of this, surely. Repair fence, please. Hmm. Going over there first. Hopefully the T-Rex is going to stay over here while we get these repairs underway. Right, okay. I think we've just about handled this. Okay, now it's going to go and repair this fence over here. Wow, the cars move so slow, don't they? Let's take manual control. And then we've got the, the uh, storm shelves to repair as well, but that's not a priority. Right now, since the storm has just been and gone. There we go, repaired, brilliant. Okay, now we'll just add the uh, other thing onto the pair there. I believe that's the last one. And we'll go ahead and open our emergency shelters. Or oh, close them, rather. Kick people out of them. Oh, I know what I mean. And I think we're done. So it's just this final objective now. So we need to build a hotel. Get a few more dinosaurs around if need be. Let me just check uh, the stuff here. If we go to island rating. Capacity is poor so yeah we can build a hotel and that should theoretically i believe get us underway so let's go ahead here and do so now it's important when you build hotels oh, i just sort this disease out it's always one thing after another isn't it uh when you sort ho when you place a hotel you place it where you're going to be able to put food and drink around as well Setting a 
Additional task. And shopping and fun facilities because the hotels have quite high needs. If you go into management view, you can see that as well. So we'll plonk this down here. Should be in range of our shops and stuff. Probably have to build a substation there. Let's go for a large one. And of course the all-important path. I know it's not the prettiest placement there, but hopefully it will do the job for us. And our guest total count has improved already because we've closed the shelters. Let me just check our dino comforts over on this side. I think we're looking good actually. I think we're looking good. I'm going to go ahead and save. I'm happy with the progress we've made so far. This is the final objective. I should mention that as far as this particular mission is concerned. And I know it's been annoying, but this is actually the easiest of the three missions on this island. Uh, let's go ahead and start another contract. It's important to start building our rep up. I want to take uh, release a brachio source with a cardio strength. Yeah, I'll do that, even if I have to Correct. sell one of the other brachios. Oh, what, 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 what? I've just saved my game and now it's all going wrong. Why, oh why, is this happening? Confirmed. Why, oh why, is this happening? Something to do with the T-Rex not being happy about his disease. Adding to the list. Can we please medicate this thing? Thank you. Right, his comfort level wasn't actually that low. So hopefully we'll be able to get this guy moved back across fairly soon here yeah walk across yourself go on in you go and then we'll get the fence repaired hey we've done it we completed the mission oh that was tense that was tense we get the vivid skin which is actually quite a nice skin so make sure you check that one out oh Oh. Dr. Wu know about you? And that trophy is for completing all of the it's entertainment so missions. Me. I like a mystery, I do. Because a mystery is just chaos. Right, if it's not too late, we'll go ahead and cancel that. Well, you're not attacking the fence now, are you? Yes, what are you doing? What is this guy's problem? Until very recently, they could have only imagined. That's as good as it gets. And that means you've done all you can for the entertainment industry. If you know what I'm saying. No, 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 no. Just want to make sure I need to repair that fence or not. No, it seems okay. And so does the dinosaur. Apart from there is a dead dinosaur now. And that's going to be one of these stegos. I can guarantee it. Oh, this level is actually quite hard. Yeah. But we've got the first mission done now, so I'm happy about that. And we just need to build up some rep, and then we can go ahead and work on the science mission, which is the mission I'll be doing next. I'm going to save that for the next episode. I'll start prepping the park, and we'll get right on that. So thanks for stopping by today, folks. I hope this tutorial video has helped you and got you on the path to success. And if you've enjoyed watching, please don't forget to support me by leaving a like and subscribing to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time as we continue on with Isla Sauna. Goodbye.